press plus to get started and then you can give your strategy a name or take the default and now we can see this great visualization of the strategy firstly you can pull out the price align depth chart and then grasp the strategy itself pull on this blue bar to tell it how much of the history you want to use and adapt the red bars to indicate the buy and sell margins this green label in the middle is important if it's green you're going to make a gain given the current parameters and this gain is after exchange fees have been calculated there are some other options that are important the minimum effective margin tells the strategy what you expect from it. If you wanted to only make gains, then set it to be positive. Otherwise you can set it to be negative as I'm doing here, which allows the strategy to continue trading after the price has gone outside the area that you're trading in. There are also some other additional options and you can get tooltips for all of those to see what exactly they mean. Okay, let's set the amount using this custom made slider choose whether you want to start with a buy or sell and then get going so the order is placed by the strategy if we hover it we see it owns this order and in fact it's even possible to adapt this order so we can dynamically adapt strategy orders And what's also possible, of course, you can run more than one strategy on a currency pair. So we can add another margin maker here with some different parameters and maybe start it with a sell. You can play around with that. Okay, guys, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy trading.